So solving a decimal word problem using a two-step linear inequality. So pretty much like the word problems we did on the previous page, this time we're going to use an inequality instead of an equal. To rent a certain meeting room, a college charges a reservation fee of $49 and an additional fee of $6.40 per hour. The math club wants to spend less than $106.60 on renting the meeting room. What are the possible amounts of time for which they could rent the meeting room? Use T for the number of hours the meeting room is rented and solve your inequality for T. So they are going to tell you what variable to use. If you try to use a different one, it'll count it wrong. <laughs> so make sure you use the one they tell you to use. So we charge $49 and an additional $6.40 per hour. We're using T for the time, so $6.40 T. The math club wants to spend less, so a less than sign. $106.60. So we've translated it into our inequality, now we just have to solve it. So we're going to start by subtracting our 49. I'm going to let you subtract that for me. 106.60 minus 49 would be 50 what? 57. 40. Is that what you said? No? 57.60. Right, how about I subtract? <laughs> See? 0.6. That's what she said. Oh, okay, 57.6. See, there's a fan up there. I have a hard time hearing. <laughs> I got to divide by my 640. So T has to be less than 9. 9. So if I rent the hall for less than 9 hours, I'm going to stay in budget. Lamar is going to rent a truck for one day. There are two companies he can choose from and they have the following prices. Company A charges $93 and allows unlimited mileage. In other words, they're going to charge me $93. Doesn't matter what I do. I could drive it all over town and round in circles or I could drive it for one block. I still pay $93. Company B has an initial fee of $65 and charges $0.80 cents for every mile driven use M for the number of miles driven. So what mileage is will company A charge less than company B? I want A to be less than B again. And so I just put less than symbol in there. So if I'm going to solve this, I'm going to subtract my 65 first and I would get 28. It's less than 0.80m, and then I would divide by my 80 cents. So I would get 35. 35 is less than m, or m is greater than 35 just because it makes more sense. If I drive more than 35 miles, a is going to charge less than b. I can read that better. And the last one. For his phone service, Brian pays a monthly fee of $21. He pays an additional $0.04 cents per minute of use. The least he has been charged in a month is $63.16. So, what would my inequality be to represent that? So if the least he's been charged is 63.16, that means that's the lowest number, right? So it's going to be greater than or equal to $63.16. So the least is the lowest amount. It could be more than that. And so first thing we're going to do is subtract our 21. 
0.04m is going to be greater than or equal to 42.16, if I just go ahead and subtract that, and then I'm going to divide by 4 cents. So 42.16 divided by 0 0.04. So M is greater than or equal to 1,054. I believe somewhere back in the review section you had a little table that had the at least, at most, and all of that stuff in there. Otherwise, just keep track as you're doing them if you have trouble with that wording.